This is Artifacts of Mars, and this is an emergency alert. This is a Tyranny Watch News special report. Uh, this is a very serious situation. You see this wacko, uh, her name is Dr. Dr. Barbara Lee Savoy. And what this wacko wants to do is, I'll show you in a minute, she wants Obama to seize all guns. She's calling on Obama to seize all guns. Now, uh, this nutcase is uh, assistant director, assistant professor of women and gender studies, which means she's a dyke, and more than likely, but uh, she's a man-hater and all this. She's a total nutcase. I saw her, she did an essay at the Democrat and Chronicle, which is basically the uh, Democrat and Chronicle is one of the many tentacles of the New York Communist Party um, propaganda machine, let's put it that way. When I saw, the, saw her uh, essay in the Democrat and Chronicle, I thought, well, maybe there's another college that in Brock Comfort that I didn't know about. But, unfortunately, College of Brock Fort, that is a state university in New York. College is a SUNY college, which means it's a thousand times more trouble than if it was a pri private college in my book, because she's working for the government. She's calling for a total ban, total seizure of guns, which of course will result in a revolution. At least I would hope it would run uh, in, end up uh, in a revolution. Is she's a feminist, uh, capitalism hating feminist, capitalist. Here's one thing, capitalist hijacking of International Women's Day, Russian American considerations. This is a Marxist. But uh, let's go ahead and take a look at her uh, article that she wrote on Democrat and Chronicle. This is big time trouble, people. If you don't think this is trouble, you're sadly mistaken. I urge doo -doo, Obama to ban firearm possession in America. I don't call him the president. He is the uh, of the United States, the resident of the White House. Or I'm going to say, he can change the country, he can do it today, I believe in him. I voted for Barack Obama twice. During his 2008 ca presidential campaign, my two daughters, partner, there's that partner business again, I don't understand what that is, ate every meal in our house on Obama placemats. We bought these at our local supermarket, plastic colored plate size paper rectangles with an image of his face framed by the colors of the flag. While politically minded, I am not overly patriotic, so this is mealtime ritual of American allegiance was odd to me. Still, when we looked at the image of his face, each day and believed that he could really change be the change in America. Yeah, he changed America, he's ruining it. You stupid cow. As Obama's 2012 campaign approach as a little jaded, some of his promises to our country did not come true, and I was anxious about raising social tensions he and his administration faced. Racial inequality plagued the news, gender-based violence grew in pro global proportion, and women's reproductive freedoms have become increasingly vulnerable. And it goes on and on. But right here it is. Firearms possession should be banned in America. She's asking for a revolution because 
She's calling out President Obama. There we go again. I screwed up. President Obama can orchestrate this directive. His presidency can be remembered as a remarkable turn in United States history, otherwise known as a full-blown dictatorship, where a progressive leader, otherwise known as a communist, forever changed the landscape under which we live and work. That is his, this is his legacy. To establish gun control laws in America that will reduce high levels of male violence not sure in the culture of peace and civility. Uh, people, this is a dangerous, dangerous Marxist. And like I said, it makes it a hell of a lot worse uh, that she, uh, this monster, is part of the Sunni system. Now, this is not going to be the last uh, one. This is not going to be the last video on this one. Because I need to uh, contact SUNY Brockport. I just learned about it. It's a weekend. I can't really contact them now. So what I'm going to do... This is going to be continued... Uh, on the weekend. Sometime on the weekend. And then... Well, this is going to be continued during the week, is what I meant. I didn't mean on the weekend, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to call him up. I'm going to try to get an interview like I did, tried with Sandy Hook. I got stonewalled at Sandy Hook. This is a totally different situation. I want to see what SUNY system has to say about this. I mean, she's trying to provoke a revolution. Because there will be bullets flying immediately if... They try to take our guns. I would hope so, at any rate. I'm not going to take mine without a fight, I'll tell you that much. Like I said, they'll have to kill me in order to take them. This is bullshit. you got to wake up, people. Here we have... She won't be taken seriously. She works for the state. And this is what I was afraid of. When I saw... When I saw her, uh... Saw this in the, uh... Uh, newspaper, it said the college at Brockport, and I thought, well, maybe there's a, uh, private college I didn't know about, but nope. So we're in trouble big time. We're going to have to, uh, like I said before, drop your cocks and grab your socks. We're in trouble, people. This whack job will be taken seriously. How far it'll go, I don't know. Uh, see all the effort they put into one little, uh, thing, that Andrea Wraithka, that one little panel on that carousel, that Andrea Wraithka wants to have it banned, and they put a tremendous amount of effort in that, and this one wants guns banned. Here it is in the subject, she wants our guns taken away from us. Uh, she'll wind up with a... I'm not going to say it. She is going to wind up so... with so much hate mail. It's pathetic. No, we're not going to give up our guns. You try to take them, you'll have a revolution on your hands. Well, right here it is. In black and white. Red alert, people. You're in serious danger. If they take our guns, you will have a full-blown <coughs> dictatorship on your hands. You won't have any way to fight back. Government doesn't stay nice just because you wish them they would. Duh. They stay nice when they're looking down the barrel of a gun and they know... They have to stay nice. That's when government behaves itself. And this government's gotten out of control anyway. We let them have our guns. You know, you people are going to be uh, shot wholesale out in the street. Jaywalkers will be gunned down and stuff. 
think there's killing now. Wait till uh, the government gets our guns. You're going to see more killing than you can uh, count. You'll have more killing than you know what to do with. I'm Artifacts of Mars. This is part one. There will be a second part. I gotta talk to SUNY Brockport and get what their take is on this. And then I'm gonna go off the chance, man. I'm gonna go state SUNY. Do you support a dictatorship in this country? Because, you know, this college professor, I hesitate even to call this creature a professor is seeking a dictatorship. You will have a full-blown dictatorship, not in the lukewarm dictatorship they have right now. Yeah, kind of an oligarchy right now. You'll have a full-blown uh, Marxist-Leninist dictatorship if uh, these scumbags were to uh, get their way. There's a uh, thin blue line standing between dictatorship and us. And namely, it's, you know, people with guns. I hate to have to put it like that, but uh, if they try to take them, there's only one choice left. And you know what that is. I don't have to vocalize it. We all know what it is. This is Artifacts Mars. Red alert. You're in danger, people. Drop your cocks. Grab your socks. And keep your guns ready. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thank you for watching.